Hello everyone, welcome to Biochemistry Tutor. So in this video, we will study how to draw the structures of 20 standard amino acid. So amino acid, amino acids are the organic compounds which contain the amino group and the acid group. As the name suggests, it has an amino group and an acid group. To draw the structure of amino acid, first we have to draw carbon. We know that it has four valency. There is a carboxyl group, an amino group, hydrogen and a side chain. So this is the side chain which is the variable group. It is carboxyl group and this one is the amino group. It is the alpha carbon. Okay. In nature, the amino acids rarely exist in this form and this is known as a neutral form of amino acid. In majority cases, it exists in the Zwitter ionic form. Or we can say it exists in the dipolar form. So what is it? Okay. Now, the first and the simplest standard amino acid is glycine. To draw the structure of glycine, Here, the R group is hydrogen. So, except glycine, all other amino acids are optically active. Why? In glycine, there is no chiral center, right? Here, there are two similar groups attached to the alpha carbon atom. So, it is optically inactive. Now, the next one is alanine. Before that, amino acids are represented by three letter abbreviation and one letter symbol. For example, in case of glycine, this is a three-letter abbreviation and this is a one-letter symbol. Okay, coming back to alanine. The structure of alanine is everything else is similar except the R group, right? Here, the R group is CH3. Look, alanine is optically active. Why? Because there is a chiral center present. Uh, the carbon atom is satisfied by four different groups. Now, structure of valine. Here the R group is CH, CH3, CH3. So it is a branched chain. Leucine, to draw the structure of leucine you just have to insert a CH2 here, then we will get CH2, CH2, sorry CH, CH3, CH3, so this is also branch chain. Okay, the fifth one is isoleucine. Everything else is similar except the R group which is C, H, C, H3, C, H2, C, H3. It is also branched chain. In case of methionine, it is a sulfur containing uh, amino acid. There is only two uh, amino acid which has sulfur in it one is methionine and the other one is cysteine okay so it has sulfur in it ch2 ch2 s ch3 the group present here is thioether now the seventh one is proline here an amino group is present or secondary amino a group is present and this is the R group which is termed as the pyrrolidin ring. Okay, now these three are aromatic amino acids 
and the first one is phenyl alanine so it has a benzene or phenyl group okay now the ninth one is tyrosine this is also an aromatic amino acid so here there is a phenol group or we can say that there is hydroxyl group you just have to add a hydroxyl to the phenyl alanine the tenth one is tryptophan which has an indole group Okay, this is the indole group. So this one is the indole group. Now the eleventh one is serin. It has a hydroxyl group. The R group is CH two OH. The twelfth one is threonine. It also has hydroxyl group. So we have studied three amino acids with hydroxyl group. They are tyrosine, serine, threonine. So the R group here is C O H H C H three. Now the thirteenth one is cysteine. It is a sulfur containing amino acid. So methionine and cysteine are the two sulfur containing amino acid. Here there is sulfhydryl group present. In case of methionine, there is a thio ether group present now the 14th one is asparagine so here the r group is an amide that is ch2 c double bond o nh2 glutamine also has amide so you just have to insert a ch2 here then we will get glutamine The next one is aspartate and glutamate. These are the amides of asparagine and glutamine respectively. So here the R group is CH two COO minus. Look in place of COO minus here we have this amide C double bond O NH two. So they are the aspartate is the amide of asparagine. So here the R group is beta carboxyl. Why? This one is alpha. This is beta. So the COO minus is attached to beta carbon. So it is beta carboxyl. Here you just have to insert a CH two in the aspartate. You will get glutamate. So the R group here is gamma carboxyl, alpha, beta, gamma. The eighteenth one is arginine. So here the R group present is guanidine group. Sorry, guanidine group. So what is it? CH two, CH two, CH two, NH, C double bond O NH two plus NH two. The nineteenth one is lysine. Here the R group is epsilon amino. So CH two, CH two, CH two, CH two, NH three plus. Why it is termed as epsilon amino? This is alpha carbon, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon. The um uh, the NH three plus group is attached to epsilon carbon. Now histidine. Here the R group is imidazole group. CH two, C, NH, CH, C double bond C, H, N, so double bond CH. So this is the imidazole group. So I hope you understand it, and it is very easy to study the structures uh, if you have dedication. So study hard, and remember there is no shortcut for success. And thank you.